It's been a long time, but we back. With the reports from the White House and Capitol areas. Near downtown New York. So I was looking at Nancy Drew's channel on Telegram. She said that they're putting up some fences. Let's see. Let's see. So we're on the side now. These are the executive buildings. It is 1.59 p.m. on 1.11, January 11th, 2022. It's all lucky numbers right there. It's a total. One plus one plus one plus two plus two plus two is nine. Is that right? Yes, nine. Today is 1.11. 2022. 2022 is six plus three ones is nine. Alright, so here's all the Capitol Police lined up as usual. Hello, people. I have been, I have been down here, even though I was down south for two months. I have been down through here lately, but not to video. Let's so video. Our first video of 2022 around here. <laughs> Of course, it's like 20 something degrees outside. Shivering me timbers. So, hopefully, we won't see too many people out here because it's too damn cold. We're pulling up right here on Lafayette Park. Gift shop. It still looks closed, but they keep the window. They keep the windows with the lights on or whatever to show. That one says sale. All right, so we're moving. And um, I don't see any fencing, but I don't see anything down here. I know, right. oh, what is that? Down let's, there. Let's pull over, let's pull over. And nobody's gonna stop me from pulling over with DC Tay. <laughs> there is some kind of fencing down there. Zoom in. There's people on the stairs at the White House. Are there? Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. I see people. Well, I see somebody coming in and out, but it is boarded up down there. Why it's boarded up, I don't know. But here comes the police on the bike, so let me give them. Up oh, in Black Lives Matter Plaza is <laughs> open for driving through. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I ain't feel like dealing with that police person back there. Let's make a U-turn real quick, though. Okay, we came around. Uh huh. We came around um, I Street. It really still looks dead down here for this to be a work day. It's Tuesday. All right, so we're back here, Black Lives Matter Plaza, which is definitely 16th Street, 16th and I. Down to see it still. It's still down here in yellow. They have two black lives matter. Oh. <laughs> so the black lives matter words are these yellow things. so we can take a look here. Turn this out, man. Can't really see, but what did you say to, um, what did you say it looks like over here, son? I said it looks like that they boarded the whole, um, I mean, that they fenced the whole, like, around, kind of, the whole White House. Mm -hmm. And then, like, they put, like, two layers of, like, fencing or whatever, mm -hmm. or cardboard. Um, and like fenced up the front gate. Mm. This is really not a good angle, but we tried. Yeah, I remember St. John's Church. I don't know what, who is blowing that whistle? I hear a whistle. I don't see nobody around, I just hear the whistle. Somebody's going 
crazy with the whistle. All right, let's see. Oh, there are those people, those um, homeless people that protest down there. You still see their setup right there. But yeah, if you notice, it's, and I can see a board moving back there. I will get out y'all, but it is way too cold. There's somebody oh, behind me that's trying to look too. There's someone behind us. What's going on? Let's keep on going and let's drive down Pennsylvania and see what's happening. Maybe we can look, look, up the, the maybe look on the side. Too. Mind you, they um just created these bus lanes this past summer when they were having all them damn protests down here and dropping off people for the false flags. Okay, just wanted to come to the side of it. Why are we sitting here? It's a green light, Florida. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, she always okay, is I'm looking at this gate, this side of the White House, when she does her videos. So there are a lot of cars in the parking lot, I will say that. Where all these people are, I don't know. Maybe they're in the offices. Because some people do work part time in the offices now. So. Alright, we're here at 15th and Constitution. I might just turn here just to see what I can see up front. Right on green arrow only. Okay, let me follow the direction. How can you have this wall is up? Maybe oh, there's a low flying uh, helicopter right there. Whoa. Nancy Drew always comes past. I mean, there's always out here catching the helicopters. She caught one earlier today, I believe. That's why I'm down here. Oh, so this helicopter flying low. I don't know if you can see it. That helicopter comes back around. That was a low flying helicopter. I don't know if I caught it on camera. We'll see. I might just be making I'll a U turn and going later. on. Yes, we'll check out the footage later. But I'm about to make a U turn and go to the uh, Capitol. The streets are empty in the museums. I know because we're going to the um, National African or whatever it's called museum on the 26th of this month. It's only open on Wednesday through Saturday. So the museums, so they have their own little hours now that have changed. The so-called African American Museum. Check that out. Lying lawyers. Anyway, this is the back of um, Trump Hotel. On the way towards the Capitol now. These buildings are still deserted over almost two years later. 
people definitely work from home a lot more now. It's the FBI building down that street. Ninth and Constitution. That's the art gallery um, area where the fountain is and stuff. We came here this summer. Oh, that's the fountain. Right, right, right. I see a few people over there, actually. That's cold. Too cold to be over there, but on that way. Tourists on a tour. thing is that even if it's cold in the air, the fountain water. What are they going to do with that? That used to be the um, museum museum full of news it just randomly shut down this year or last year yeah. oh shut up stop scaring me <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, all right oh, I got you. back in front of the capitol where the if you can see like right there the fence is up higher up on the steps there is a half mass on the Capitol building. We'll get closer and I'll see it. Who knows why that flag is half mass? Well, mommy, we can also check the circle. The circle? Yeah. Because it's the circle. Yeah. 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 Maybe it's half mass because the Capitol is really a jail now. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Flags on the front of the Capitol or this side of the Capitol are half masked. Ugly ass Christmas tree is still up. <laughs> Ugh. It is 10 days into the new year, supposedly. So, the so called new year. The so called new year. I'm not sure about this Christmas tree up. court I believe and then there's half 
cash flags over there, oh, right yeah, there. Cash flags on this side. Uh, on this side, the three flags. And then there's not no fence on this side. No though. fence on this side. I am confused. What is this confusion? And what is that? It's very dry out here, but again, it's 20 degrees. sure what this building is again y'all just pay attention to the video <laughs> this up um dc does not consist of these little 18 blocks between the white house and the capital only okay there is a whole bigger part of the city where the residents live and where gentrification is taking place but mostly it's still chocolate city so let's keep that in mind when you bama's out there bama is a dc word for just dummies <laughs> um say the dc needs to be burned down or um, what did I hear yesterday? Did they need to drop a bomb on DC and all this stuff? Like, no. There are innocent people here that are not part of the corruption. Again, DC has residents, almost a million. Because I did the census in DC last, uh, last summer. I'm sorry, two summers ago. <laughs> 2020. Yeah. And, um, it, uh, it has people that, you know, really live here. The people that work here, most of them live in Maryland and Virginia or from another place. There's over 750,000 real Washingtonians. So watch what you say about us. <laughs> um, this city is so small that if you were to bomb it, it wouldn't just bomb the downtown area. It's going to definitely come out to the residential area. So watch what you say. You know, do we want to come out there and bomb your little town in Iowa or your little other uh, corrupt cities like Atlanta and New York and Los Angeles? No, we just want to get the main people out. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Like Joe Biden, he's the main one. <laughs> AKA skin mask. <laughs> Holla.